Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the appearance of your Contact Form 7 using an additional plugin called Contact Form 7 Skins. Now what this allows you to do is to apply a bunch of pre-made skins or pre-made design templates to your contact form, but it doesn't allow you to add your own custom CSS to, add, to change those templates a little bit. So you get the templates they have. If you're happy with them, that's great. If you want to do some custom CSS coding, then this plugin is not the way to go. An additional feature this plugin has is it has a bunch of pre-built forms, I believe nine different pre-built forms for certain applications that you can just copy over into your form and then change to whatever you need. But a lot of the functionality is pre-built. We're gonna show that to you in a second. So in order to install this plugin, which is the first step, we have to go into our WordPress dashboard Hover over plugins on the left and then click on add new. In the search bar, type in contact form skins. Hit enter. And the one on the top left that's created by Neil is the one that we want. Click on install now. Then click on activate plugin. And what it does, the, this contact menu is the one that contact form 7 adds. And then within that menu, there are certain things that are added. One is the CF7 skins tab. Let's go to that first. This is where we set some basic options for the, the, the plugin. So the color scheme, this is not the color scheme that will go onto your forms. This is the color scheme that's going to be used for the plugin in the back end. So your public facing website will not have these colors applied. It's just for inside the admin interface. I just leave mine as default. Then I click on advanced. And then this is really basic stuff. You can have a log for the plugin, which basically just is a record of everything that's happened. When when you delete the plugin, if you check this box or remove all plugin data, you can choose those or not, doesn't really matter. Default is fine where they're both unchecked. Licenses, it's a free plugin, but you can get an upgraded version, I imagine. Otherwise, why would they have a licenses tab? Either way, you can't fill in any information here. So I'm not quite sure what this is for. You can ignore it. If we go to our contact forms, I already have one built, so I'm gonna use that one as an example. I have a two column contact form, which is, I'm gonna show you the website right now, is on this page. This is how it looks, stock, no extra design on the form itself. I just made it two columns. And I've linked to a video below this if you wanna find out how to make this a two column form. The only thing that's a little bit customized is the send button. And that's just because I'm using the Aveda theme and it applied this CSS style to all the buttons. So your send button might look different, but there's, it's not custom to what I created in the form, it's custom to the theme itself. So if we go back to our contact form admin, click on edit below that form. You see all the regular stuff at the top, but then if you scroll down to the bottom, the skins plugin has added this skins meta box. And this first part called template, in the template tab, these are the forms that I was telling you about where they've pre-made them. So there's a form for events, there's a field set basic, field set in field set, field set multiple, registration form, suggestion form, a survey, and you can just click on select if you want to use these. So if you click on add new form, select one of these, all this information will be pre-built into your form fields up here. And then you can just edit them as needed and create your forms a lot faster if you have, or if you have a need for an event form, registration form, suggestion form, etc. But what we're doing for this video is we're styling our forms. And for that, we want to click on the style tab. So here we have all the different styles that are currently available with this plugin. There are 15, as it says in the number up here on the left. And hopefully you like one of these, because if you do, you just click on the select button or select link, and then go and save it at the top. But if you don't like any of these, there's no easy way to add your own custom CSS. So if you wanted to do your own CSS coding, I don't recommend you use this plugin to get you part way there and then add your own CSS, it'd be better for you just to do your own CSS and then have that be the only source of style sheet for your form. 
But we've selected this plugin, and I'm going to go to the very top, click on Save, and then I'm going to go back to my live form once that's saved, click on Refresh, and then hopefully the color will have changed, and it has. So this is updated to that style that I chose. I'm going to type some words in here. So this is how the text appears inside the field. The backgrounds are green. The button appearance has changed, and they put a border around it. And this is very basic form styling. So if you know a little bit of CSS, you can easily do this with your own custom coding. But if you don't know CSS and you are happy with these styles, you're happy with one of these, you can very easily style your form to meet your needs just by clicking Select, Save, and you're done. So in this video, we installed the Contact Form 7 Skins plugin, and we applied a color scheme to one of our forms and hopefully you find this plugin useful and can find a use for it on your website. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, check out our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.